Hello and welcome to a new reaction video. Yes, it's time to react on a new hair fail video. Unfortunately, it is time that we have closed our shops in Belgium. So if you see this video many months after this, it's because of the coronavirus, COVID-19, uh, that we have to close all our shops in Belgium. It's not possible to work safe. So we decided to close our shop for three weeks. I hope it will be enough for three weeks, uh, but I'm guessing no, uh, because what we see in Italy, it, it's taking a long time. I'm here with a new video and I want to support you at home. If you are staying home in quarantine or lockdown, France is also in lockdown now uh, from a few hours. You can support me by subscribing to my channel and press that notification bell. You can also follow me on Instagram and you can share this video to all your friends. And so you're helping me to grow my channel and uh, to make an opportunity for me to uh, make some money, not as much as I'm uh, having in my salon, but still it's a little donation that you're doing. So you're helping me a little bit and I wanna help you so together we are stronger. And yes, we can fight this coronavirus. We are stronger than that and we have to use our minds and uh, let's hope for the best and stay healthy. I hope you stay healthy and your family too. So today we're going to see a hair fail video from Katarina Mercedes. Go to her channel, follow her and also, oh yes, uh, if you want to see the video without my reaction, the link is here in the description and I will put it in the comments so you can see it without me giving any reaction. The title is, we, um, I ruined my hair. Maybe if she ruined her hair, it will be quick blue and it will be yellow or it will be orange or worse, it could fall out. I, like I said the last time, I don't see the end result if I click them. Uh, I search on uh, YouTube for hair fail uh, or bleaching or cutting. Um, if the title says something that I say, okay, I wanna see that and the video is not one hour, I wanna get my reaction uh, fresh. Not that I already know what's going to happen. So it's not like the first reaction or the honest reaction. Okay. So this is the product that I use, this is the bleach that I use, it's L'Oreal, and then this is the developer I use, it's Volume 30. When I do my roots, I usually use the Volume 30 because they're super super dark. Quick blue, so it's quick dead. And this is the toner that I use. It's T18, the Wella color. Also, so I'm just gonna add one always Wella. Here. I like to start a little before anything. So I can always add. Go with the flow. If you cook at home, if you make a meal at home, do you measure or is it just by feeling? If you color your hair, if you're preparing a, a color, you have to use measurements. You have to use the right amount of product. Otherwise, it's already finished before it started. So you have to use the right amount of product to get the right result. So this is already the second mistake. Quick blue and I don't use measurements. I go with the flow. And then I'm gonna mix it now. And then if I need more developer or more uh, bleach, then I'll do the, I'll add more. You haven't seen the person yet. Okay, this is what the consistency should, consistency should look like. Mixed up. It has to be thicker. Come on, Katarina, we want to see your face. We want to see your hair. So I'm okay. Half of it down, kind of here. It's like a section that goes straight in my hair. Long it's hair. Very, very thin layers here. And now I'm just going to start painting it. I, I really do. I get messy. I have gloves here. And I'm really not wearing, <laughs> wearing a shirt, but. This is, just, this is how I do it. This is how I do my hair. And I'm just gonna brush through it and then 
start painting. Start at the roots, see, like here. I don't know if you guys can see, like here's where my roots are. And I'm just gonna start painting all of that first. All of it, just go all around and just make sure I get everywhere, you guys will see. So make sure I get like here and then when I paint it, I'll show you guys now, when I paint it, it doesn't go on the other side. So I have to paint up there. And then also too, when I section it out, section out like that there's still some in there so I, you just have to be this is time taking first of all wow such a long hair and it's already bleached before and she said it's really fine hair so you have to be extra careful uh, and she's very dark we had already a few mistakes a new mistake is if she sectioned it and she put the bleach on it she shows it on the other side and says the product is not going through this is because your sections are too thick. You have to see the product through your hair. Then you have fine sections. Otherwise, you'll have, like she said, if you sectioned it in the middle, there's still no product inside. You have to section it so fine that the product is pressing through. In the middle, there will not be enough product. And in the middle, it will be more yellow, so it will be patchy. It's a very big regrowth. The first two centimeters will bleach faster and the other centimeters will be more orange or yellow. Closer to the, to the head, it's warmer, so it bleaches faster. And you have to work fast. More bleach, more bleach. This is so difficult to do by yourself. It's always easier if you have a friend or somebody that can help you to the back because you don't see it. Your arms are hurting. I, I could do it by myself, but then again, I don't have any hair. If you can see your hair, through the color, it's because there is not enough bleach on your hair. You cannot see any hair anymore. First of all, the consistency has to be thicker. It's too watery. Um, it has to be thicker and it has to be applied much more bleach. So I just added more bleach and more um, developer because I ran out. And again, I still like to do um, start a little. I'm just wondering how she's looking at the consistency of, uh, of the product. It's really, really dark hair. Now, I'm just going to touch up what it was already blonde here. Just because I do have some like golden colors you can see here. I'm going to touch up the bottom here. And like everywhere else. Here. Don't! I know, I know some of the toner like, probably came out because I didn't use the right brush I was supposed to be using, so I'm just going to touch that up. As Don't well. color your length, it's already blonde. Don't do it. Any type of way, just whatever I see, I'm just No! It. No! And this is just the way that I do my hair all the time. I've been doing my own hair, coloring my own hair for like three years now. And why is it failing today? Uh, she says that she colored her hair for three years now. Um, that's why it's so white and uh, silver on the length. She thinks it's too yellow on the length. Let me explain you. Silver hair is not natural or you getting older and it's, it's gray from age. But silver color is not a natural color. So if you bleach your hair, all the pigments all the uh, moisture and all the proteins are outside your hair. If everything that is inside your hair is out, then you have white hair. So your hair, from na nature, it wants to rebuild itself. Well, if you rebuild your hair, it will restore also the yellow pigments. So 
if you want to get healthy hair it will be again more yellow pigments inside bleaching that kind of long hair that is asking for problems don't touch your lens anymore i'll be honest my wearables don't change like right away they become like they kind of get a little bit lighter than this they stay like like gold like like really yellow. I don't like it, so I'll probably go back in and do like a bleach a bleach bath. And with that, if I do that, if I do that, or if I don't, I do that. <laughs> if I do that or if I don't, um, all I do is mix this, how I did the bleach, and then I just add conditioner in there. The conditioner kind of like dilutes it, so, uh, so it's not so harsh on the, on the, on the hair. And when I, when I want to get out, I'll just put that in my hair, like if it was, like I was washing my hair with it. And just massage in there, leave it in for another like five, ten minutes. Don't ever, ever use bleach like shampoo. Sometimes in the salon, we use also a bleach, a washing bleach, uh, like we said it. Um, and then it's just to take one or two tones lighter. And we do it on the washing base and we mix it and we do that with uh, water. So we take bleach, we take water, but it's just go through it and then you have one or two tones lighter and then you wash it off. But you don't rub it in like a shampoo. If you rub it in like a shampoo, you're hurting or you're damaging your scalp and it will hurt more. And you have maybe a chemical reaction in your scalp. Don't forget, every product on your hair goes into your blood. Remember that. That was a really smart hairdresser. I don't care. This is how I do it. This is, this is what's been working, me, working for me for the past three years. And with bleach, you have to have to be careful with it. Like I'll leave this in probably for like 20 minutes and then wash it out because I get so scared. But it's changing pretty well. Like, you just have to keep washing it. Don't just leave it in there and go sleep. Forget about it. Touching up whatever still you can see how like some of it's changing, some of it's still dark, so I'll just add a little. Well, I'm gonna let this sit in my hair for a while. Um, how long? It's 206, and I'm gonna leave it in probably for 20 minutes and see where I'm at, and then come back on here and show you guys. In 20 minutes, it will not be enough. see any difference between just before and then uh, the bleach washing conditioner thing now I'm 
gonna use the do the toner, which is the Wella Color Charm, which is this one here. It's the T18. I always use this one. This one's gonna turn my hair like really, really blonde. Um, it might not. Sometimes I get lucky, sometimes I don't. It might take away this orange here, but then again, it might not. But if it doesn't, I'm not too crazy. Like I don't, I don't really care it's because my hair is dark. So. It's too yellow to put a toner on, on top of it. It will not, it, you know, now you have two colors. You have, actually, if you look closely, you have three colors. You have a silver on the tips, lengths and tips. You have white in the middle, and you have a brassy yellow on the regrowth. How can you think that one toner will even everything out? It's not possible. You have to start, if you use toner, from uh, equal color. Then you have an equal result. This, this toner cannot do magic. It's not possible. So what will happen is the length will be gray and the regrowth will be yellow. And which a toner is never with 30 volumes. Never! Again, a little bit, I guess the color is not right. I see the color is not right, maybe taste it. No. So this is what I like, like it to look like. It's not as chunky, but it's still thick. I know you guys saw before, I was like a little, like, it looked a little bit chunky. I'm just gonna focus it more on these, like, more um, orange parts here. Please do! And not so much here, you guys can see how white that is, That's, that was my goal, but I'll take what I can get with my hair. So yeah, I'm just gonna focus it there. Probably, actually, I'm lying. So yeah, I'm gonna start getting it. Be careful with it because it does, it is very strong and it, it does kind of burn. Of course it's burning because you're using 30 volumes. If you're using like 7 volumes, it's also uh, hurting because your scalp is damaged of the bleach that's normal every scalp is different the one person can uh, have more damaged scalp than another person but if you use three volumes seven volumes ten volumes it's hurting if you use 30 volumes i cannot believe how much it m must have been hurting You're not coloring just your regrowth, you're coloring the white section also. You said before you're just going to do the regrowth to even the yellow, but you're coloring on the white section. So what's going to happen, the white section will be purple, gray purple oh, and... For the back of my hair, I kind of guess where it goes and I just rub it in. I probably should have moved up. I probably shouldn't be doing it, don't, don't do what I do. No, <laughs> don't. In, it's the only way I can. See how it's getting darker and darker? The yellow will still be yellow and the white will be purple or gray. I put it everywhere on my hair. Don't. Like I said before, this is going to be different from this, but I'm, I'm fine with that. I'm not fine with it. Shampoo and not don't bleach your hair anymore. But my hair is already damaged at the ends, but 
that's it. I don't understand that she's doing her hair for three years and now it's not working. So I'm going to see now uh, if I see another um, video uh, with a better result. So I'm here, we'll see here the video we just watched, I ruined my hair. And if we see foundation video and I see also the regrowth is uh, yellow, still yellow, and her lengths are purple. Um, so haven't been updated yet. So yeah, this is it. It's no uh, video that follows uh, this, this one. So it was a really bad one. Um, and I see on the videos that are following uh, later on, it's, uh, it's still yellow and the lengths are still, are, are even more purple. So that's not the way to do it. She made a classic mistake. She waited too long to do the regrowth. If you wait like this long to do regrowth, it's very hard to, to get the same uh, result on the length because the length has already washed. Maybe it was in the summer, from the sun it was already uh, lightened, you know. Uh, so, and so dark color, so dark natural color, it's nearly impossible to do it in one bleach. Do me a favor, go to her channel, subscribe to her channel, um, support this girl. If you enjoyed this video, give, please give this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, uh, press that notification bell, and I'm hoping everybody will stay uh, healthy uh, without the coronavirus. And all I'm going to say now is... Tschau,